You hear that? That's the awkward silence of a family dinner after you just got caught vaping. Most vapes contain high levels of nicotine and disappointment. <sighs> Brought to you by The Real Cost and the FDA. Okay, what's up, guys? Welcome to another episode of the TMOS Boss Show. I should have recorded this episode earlier. I don't know what I was thinking. I don't know why I record episodes so late. Like, I had time, too. Like, I don't know what I was... Well, actually, no, I wanted to... Um, I first ate, and then uh, I went and played Death Stranding, which is a good game, by the way. If you if you get... That, that's actually what I wanted to talk about. Uh, for those, because I there's people where I be telling them about video games, and they're just like in awe, like about some of the things with video games today. But um, yeah, I was playing that, and then uh, after that, I was just watching a bunch of YouTube videos. There's like uh, YouTubers that I watch on the regular; they uploaded some videos today. So I feel like Tuesday is just the day to upload videos. Why I don't know, but. Anyways, what I wanted to talk about, there's no new games in the Xbox Game Pass. I always check this every Tuesday. I might check again tomorrow because it's like every two. So on Xbox, they have like this, like pretty much this like Netflix deal. But uh, it's like $9.99 or $14.99 or something like that for uh, video games. And um, yeah, you just pay that price every month and then you just play these selected video games not all of the games they got like they got like some big titles on here like there's one game i remember i bought a while ago and i actually um i actually had sold it it looks like they might have added some new games some of these games don't uh yeah they don't they don't look i don't think i've seen them oh i actually wanted to play i might play oh yeah there's there's a couple of games up on here that i'm uh, that i'm thinking about playing that's pretty dope, too. I like this. I like this a lot. Yeah, and then there's one game I was like, honestly, they didn't remember that game coming out. Like, that game, it just pretty much just snuck up on, like, snuck up on me. But, yeah, they got, they got, I think, yeah, they added some new games. They just haven't updated the top part yet. They'll have, like, this, like, little, like, beginning menu that you'll see before, uh, before you go and, uh, like, start scrolling through all the video games that they got. But, Anyways, what I wanted to talk about today, and I, yeah, I've talked about video games before, but I feel like that there's one thing that I really need to discuss for those out there that's like, you hadn't played video games since like the 80s or, you know, the 90s or something or early 2000s. And uh, like, like, let's say like, you know, last like console you actually was like really playing was like maybe what PlayStation 2 or before that. Like, that was, like, before, like, that time and things, like, anything else, like, Nintendo or, um, like, think Sega, Genesis, or, like, all those, like, older consoles and stuff. But one thing that people seem to not understand about video games, and I feel like that these game companies uh, are starting to go back to those old ways, is that uh, they got, like, these DLCs that you gotta pay for, so... Once when you beat the original game, then they'll come out with some newer stuff that you pretty much have to pay, like... So, let's say if the game is, like, 60, you'll end up having to pay, like, 30 or something for the DLC. And, yeah, it's it's crazy, too, because it's, what, maybe, like, two, three maps, few new weapons. Um, well, if it's a shooting game, but it's, like, it mean, like, if you, like, think of, like, any racing game, like, or if it's, yeah, if it's a racing game, then, yeah, they'll probably add, like, some new cars... Um, there's the one, um, video game, uh, called Forza, and, yeah, it's, it's just crazy with the DLCs in there. I'm like, I, it just, it got to a point where I was like, I had no choice but to buy one of the DLCs because I had pretty much, I think I had had, like, almost every car in the game, and, um, I raced with them all, like, there was some that one as a gift in the game, so I pretty much had every car. But then, in this, yeah, same racing game, there is a, a Mustang that they added in there that I was like, I'm a big fan of that Mustang. It's a Boss 302 Mustang. And I wanted to buy it, but they're all like, nope, you uh, have to buy, like, the whole DLC. So I had to 
if I only wanted that car, I would have had to buy like an additional selection of cars just so I could get that one Mustang. So I was overall like wasting my money on just one car. And um, I think there actually, you know, no, well, there were cars that was like that. But I think with the Mustang, I think it was like, oh, OK, pay like two ninety nine or something like that. Then you get that car. But still, like I like one would think like now. OK, because that's what I really do like about uh, the latest Call of Duty video game. They're like all of the content that we're releasing is free for this game. And I'm like, that's pro this is going to probably be the best Call of Duty up to date. Because I'm like, the fact that everything is free, and I'm like, I was just sitting down talking with like a couple of old friends I used to play this game with all the time, and um, they were even talking about how like, we all need to just start playing this game, and I'm like, man, like it seriously brought us back to those days, it had brought us back to those days, and I was like, that's, that's crazy, not too many games can do that, but even like back then and stuff, that's like why I really did hate about video games, is that you have like you buy the game and you're like cool like this is fun and then they go and like lure you into buying more stuff for the game like i i'm just i'm not with that and then then there's some games where they got like in-game currency so grant that photo prime example grant that photo will probably be the best example for this but so in grant that photo now they got it in there where their clothes cars everything is just crazy expensive crazy crazy expensive if you want to get like i was watching one youtuber um the other day and he bought a flashlight in the game to hit people with and stuff yeah it's crazy grand theft auto is a crazy and weird game but anyways he bought a flashlight and stuff and the flashlight in the game cost three thousand dollars so let's say when you do like like if you did was if you were playing this game you're all like oh man like I don't have enough money to go and uh, buy this uh, car in there because they have it where you can. They have it where you can buy cars, houses, bunkers. You buy like all of these different crazy things in the game. But um, if you don't have enough money, then they have yeah the in-game currency where you have to spend twenty dollars for a million dollars in the game. Now you would think like, oh okay, like that's pretty cool, right? Like you know you get a million dollars, you get, but the stuff in there costs a million dollars. If you want a house in there, it costs a million dollars. If you want a car that you like, that's a really nice looking car and stuff, and they people are saying it's the best car in the game, it's most likely going to cost a million dollars. So you're pretty much like every time you play this game and you see some, they'll add some new stuff and you're all like, oh, it costs like a million dollars or something like that. Yeah, you're going to have to keep constantly spending $20 or however much you decide to spend. They got it where that thing goes all the way up to like $99 and stuff. And yeah, it's like for $8 million, but that $8 million would go by so fast. And people are all like, oh, like, how do you know? Because I'm like me, I, I, I had to say I had that amount of money like once in that game but i mean like i so i remember when the game had got hacked people was getting like hundreds of millions of dollars and i remember i was one day i was one night i was playing and this guy sent me like almost 300 million dollars and i was like i think how, how i think i overall spent like 20 to 50 million dollars with that money that i had and i was like yeah i was constantly buying cars upgrading them constantly buying houses um, getting like the fancier apartment, getting the fancier house and stuff, doing all of that. And I, yeah, I pretty much went like money crazy in that game, right? Just like finances was just all messed up. But I was a, I was a millionaire. I was a millionaire in that game. And then Grant that follow, they decided that we were going to just update the game and then just take out all that money and stuff. So I eventually, yeah, I ended up losing all that money. Um, and then there was cars and stuff that I actually wanted to buy. So I had to end up selling my, selling some of my cars. Um, actually, no, I sold all of them. I sold all of them, all of my cars. Uh, what else? Um, I ended up having to downgrade my house in there. Like it was uh, some real life stuff. Like it was some serious real life stuff. I'm like, dang, a video game should not do that to you. But anyways, yeah, so they'll do that in there. The other game I play, um, well, I know there's like a lot of games out there that'll do that, but uh, like shooting games um, probably be the best, um, better example. But they have uh, weapon skins. So overall, it's like it'll change the color of your weapon. So if your weapon is like the standard, like black or something like that, you can change it to like 
neon green and they have like the like skins in there but it might be a part of a bundle or it might yeah you might have to use like in-game currency and stuff to purchase it and if you don't have enough then of course you're gonna have to go to their like in-game menu and go and pretty much buy the in-game currency and stuff and it's just it's so wrong it's so so wrong the one games where i had to say that it's that's pretty much what it's just based off of is in-game currency is uh the sport video games the sport video games like they do have it where you can play the games and the in-game currency like you know you'll earn like the in-game currency in there and i mean it's like that with some games i know there's the one game called destiny and I don't think you earn any in-game currency in there. Not that I know of. I've been playing that game like since it came out, and I don't remember once in, like earning any in-game. They give you in-game currency uh, once when it's like available and stuff. They'll give you a certain amount, but after they like, yeah, if you. So that's even another crazy thing about video games is that before the games come out, you can pre-order them, and it'll come with like in-game currency skins and all this other different stuff. But uh, after that, yeah, you're going to have to, like, buy it and things. And my thing is, it's like, why lure people into that? And then it's, like, makes the game cost, like, crazy outrageous amounts and stuff. Like, they're, so if you want, like, so they'll come out with the standard edition. Then there'll be, like, the deluxe edition. Then the super deluxe edition. Then the super duper deluxe edition and stuff. And, um, yeah, then the games will be costing, like, $200 and things. Like, it's crazy. Like, I've seen it. I remember when Grant that Follow, they had, like, this, like, whole, like, bundle kit thing where you get, like, a hat that's from the game. You get, like, some posters, some other stuff. And the thing overall costs, like, $200. And I'm like, man, I can go up to a store, get my own hat, and get my own posters, and still, like, probably... So, yeah, video games nowadays, yeah, crazy expensive, too. $65.00. Because I like after taxes, it's like we're like fifty nine ninety nine and stuff. So that's what I need to start doing. I need to start buying my games from like Oregon or somewhere. Like I next time I go out there, I'm like I'm about to bring like two hundred dollars and just I'm like nah, forget the Nike. So if I don't see nothing in the Nike store, I'm about to go to Game Stops, like a local Game Stops, and see where they on uh, what they got going on. Cause um, I'm the, like the tax out here is crazy and stuff like five whole dollars and things six six dollars I'm like that's that's too much that's too much for me man that's Red Bull money and stuff so anyways um but yeah so they'll have like those like special editions of the game comes out with like some in game currency and all of that stuff and uh, yeah I'm like I I just don't I don't care for that stuff man like i'm like it's that's i'm like that's why games now they well i mean like call of duty modern warfare i think yeah they do have like some form of in-game currency in there and stuff but overall like they're all like yeah the dlcs um all that stuff like anything that's added like new story missions and all that stuff like all of that it's all free it is all free so that's why i'm like that yeah, more more games need to be like that i mean there's some like good free games out there and stuff but um for the most part yeah it's the like like all the like major games and stuff like i mean yeah call of duty even though all their stuff was free like still had to pay for it um but yeah and then those free no the free games that's probably where uh like that in-game currency it's like really crazy and stuff but no back back to the sport games that's i was like because i was trying to remember what i was talking about and i kind of forgot a little bit so now i'm back on track now i'm back on track but anyways but no with the sport games and I think I might have talked about this before. I can't remember. But anyways, so they'll have it where you want to, like, so for an example, you want to get LeBron James, right? You want to get him. He will cost, like, maybe 2 million uh, coins, like, and that's, like, what they call, like, in-game currency, like, coins or whatever they want to call it and stuff, but mostly coins. But, um, yeah, you'll have to spend that much or... You can do the pack openings in those games. And so pretty much what a pack opening is. So if you ever been to Target or Bartels or like some store where you would see like Pokemon cards or baseball cards or football or basketball cards. So pretty much it's that. 
And, yeah, you would, like, yeah, you would get, like, whatever, like, whoever is in there. So, yeah, LeBron James, Steph Curry, or for football, Russell Wilson, or Tom Brady and things, or baseball, like, Babe Ruth. I don't know. I don't know too many special athletes in uh, baseball. But, yeah, like, if you wanted to get them and stuff, you would have to keep constantly and constantly. Like, it's pretty much a gambling system when you sit down and think about it, it's like a slap machine. You have to keep constantly, like you're putting more and more money into this, um, into these people. And it's not the in-game currency. No, it's your own money out your pocket. There is this YouTuber that I watch where, um, he has spent, I think he spent, say he spent like over 3000 or $5,000 trying to get like the best players for, uh, FIFA, which is their, um, soccer game. Um, we use, well, of course, but anyways, yeah, he, uh, yeah, he spent, yeah, he said he spent, like, over $5,000 trying to get, like, either it's, like, Christian Ronaldo or Messi and some other players and stuff, and, um, uh, pretty much those are, like, the two best players that you would want to get and stuff, but, yeah, I'm like, that's just insane, like, I know he spent, like, a lot, too, but I was like, that's crazy, like, I never sat down and thought about it, I was like, yo, that's, that's just insane, bro. Like, you should have given that up. And so, now he doesn't do that. Now he's actually a professional boxer. That means he's like, nah, now I got to take my anger out. He's all like, I'm going to become a professional boxer and just destroy everybody in front of me. Like, I ain't wasted my money on this and stuff. But, yeah, I was like, it's, it's just crazy with video games. And then when I, like, I remember video games growing up, like, Video games back then was like forty nine ninety nine, so like what maybe like fifty dollars or something like that. Uh, then like the like one then the one games they're not um like all that expensive. They're like twenty dollars and stuff. I was like, man. Then what like without DLCs? Like I think there was one game, but they just released. They pretty much had released the um another game it was just like another addition to the game it was the one game midnight club and i remember they came out with midnight club 3 dub edition and then midnight club 3 dub edition remix and then remix yeah i think i think that game cost like 20 dollars and um yeah it was like pretty much i think that was like that had to be like one of the first games to introduce that whole dlc system but it was, like, all within the game. Like, I ain't had to, like, that was it. Like, after that, they was like, we're done. Like, we're coming out with this one thing, and then that's that's it. Like, nothing more. So, um, you guys, your favorite cars better be in this game. Because if it's not, then that's, that's on you. That is on you. But other than that, yeah, video games back then used to be so different. And I imagine, like, even before my time, when it was, like, Nintendo and all that stuff, like, games had to you just put the game in and then you just play it and get the high score nowadays it's like they have that where the whole high score thing matters but overall like you're going to need to have the best stuff in the game in order to get the high score and stuff so if you want to be they have like the whole leaderboard yeah of course like in every games but they have it where it's like you're number one worldwide and um yeah it's like well, you need to have like the best weapons Okay, the best TV, the best Xbox, the best um, Xbox controller. You're going to need the best, like, hands. Okay, you're going to need, to like, the best reflexes. You're going to need the best of everything around you. Okay, the best family pets, the best mom, dad. Like, no, you're going to have to go above and beyond in, in order to be, like, number one worldwide in these games. But, yeah, overall, you're going to have to be spending a lot of money and stuff. Even with, like uh pc gaming that's even like that's i have to say pc gaming is far more crazier than console gaming console gaming you just get the xbox and the playstation you're set like you know like but i think the only downfall to it is that you gotta pay like a yearly service for it which is like not bad when you sit down and think about it like you're spending like 60 bucks like once a year you know and that's just to give you yeah like the online access and stuff but uh, it, it actually, you know, it's not, it, it is bad. It, it is bad. Because it's like, I'm spending $60. This stuff used to be free. Like, I, there's times where I'm like, I really don't even care for playing with other people. Like, there's games where I'm like, yo, if I could just play this by myself, I think I would be fine. Like, I think I will be okay. But no, there's games I'm like, yeah, it's it's just, I mean, yeah, of course, like multiplayer. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, and they'll have like multiplayer only games. So, um, you'll have no choice but to have, like, the online, like, access, like, Xbox Live or PlayStation Plus, I think that's what they call their, like, version of it and stuff, but, 
Yeah, man, video games is just in the league of its own. It ain't the same anymore, so... I would highly recommend, like, if you if you do decide to... Oh, yeah, but PC gaming, PC gaming, you're constantly going to have to, like, upgrade your um, computer. It's not just a simple put the game in and then just start playing it, because that's what I thought. So let me just tell you guys how it was for me when I got into PC gaming. So I got a laptop for uh, Christmas, and I was just thinking, like, oh, man, like, I get to play, like, all these cool games and stuff. And um, I'm like, yeah, I'm like, I'm seriously, I'm going to get into this. And so... I remember I bought this game called H1Z1. It was a zombie survival game. And the everything in that game was slow. So, so slow. Like, I switching through the menus, playing the game. I remember I got attacked by a wolf in there. I think, yeah, that video is still up. That video might be still up. But I got attacked by a wolf in there. And it looked like a picture slideshow. Like, you, like you see the wolf in the distance. And then you see it get a little bit closer. And then you see it off up in my face. And then that's when you hear the barking. And then it's just like, then the screen goes red for me being attacked. And it was like a slideshow. It was a serious slideshow and stuff. Like, I was looking at pictures. But um, it was like, it was just like sitting down and like playing. And I was just like, what's going on? Like, I see people playing this on their uh, on their computers and they have no problem. So that's when I started getting into um, PC gaming. And then that's when I started understanding, like, about, like, gaming on your PC, the best parts for your computer. So, yeah, you're going to need a gaming PC. Like, you're, and you're, it's like, and you, and see, the thing is, like, you're going to have to go for, like, the most expensive one. Because that's going to be the one that lasts you some years. Okay, that's going to be the one where it's, like, it lasts you, like, four or five years. But it's, like, you, like, dang, man. And it's, I, it's, you sit down, you think about it, because... If you get a gaming PC, right? You get a gaming PC. You get the high, like the highest ends part. Like you get like the best parts for it and stuff, right? You get the best parts for it. And let's say that stuff comes up to like a thousand dollars, and it'll last you like four or five years, right? So a thousand dollars, four or five years. Actually, now it's like it. It will probably it probably would be a little bit cheaper, but no. No, it would be cheaper on console. It would be cheaper on console, but I guess... Yeah, it's, console is so much more cheaper. I know people are all like, oh, PC is better. PC is, like, cheaper and things you ain't got to pay. Because one of my friends is, like, telling me, like, how you don't have to pay, like, a yearly service and things for it. But I'm like, okay. Then if you sit down and think about it, I get a PC. I end up spending $2,000 on this thing. And then there's the video games. And them games ain't going to be cheap. So... I mean, I'm over here like, that's, yeah, I'm like, I'm not gaining anything from this, like, and it what console, yeah, it's like, you, um, get to play, like, the latest games that's out and stuff, and I'm, me, I'm used to playing on a controller, I'm not used to playing on a keyboard, I do know how to play on a keyboard, but, um, yeah, I'd rather play on a controller, but, uh, yeah, I'm like, it's cheaper, like, it's cheaper, you have to probably get, like, what, maybe a game, one game a month? versus use their like it seems like games get released on pc like every single day them like there's like yeah you like probably like versus five to ten games a month if you playing on pc like i'm like bro like i ain't no i don't have the money for that type of behavior so i do have a gaming pc and i have a gaming laptop i don't really play games on there and stuff because i'm like really i'm just trying to do everything i possibly could on console and stuff because I was like, there's like a lot of stuff that I still need to do on console. Like, I, I haven't even thought about touching the PC game right now. I should. I should. But um, for right now, yeah, I think it's uh, I think it's better if I just chilled right now and on PC. Because I was like, man, I was I was getting a little bit crazy with that. I was getting a little bit crazy with it and stuff. But um, anyways, that's all I can really think about talking about right now i will talk to you guys later there's some other videos i need to um work on and stuff so anyways but no if you're viewing this on youtube make sure you like and subscribe and if you're viewing this on the podcast streaming service make sure you follow or subscribe however it's set up and if you're purchasing tickets from SeatGeek for the first time make sure you guys uh use my promo code tmosboss and it will knock 20 dollars off your first purchase so and that being said i will talk to you guys later thank you guys for watching and peace